Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I went through with Jasmine Beckett Griffith's Halloween coloring book the other day and I mentioned that I have a few of her Oracle decks as well and I thought it would be fun to go through them um, and you'll recognize, you know, some of the imagery, particularly in this one, Le Vampire, um, in the Halloween coloring book. So I thought it would be nice to kind of go through um, the decks that I do have. I've only got three currently. Um, I had many more, but <laughs> kind of let them go because I wasn't using them or they just weren't resonating anymore. So I uh, I kept these three. I held on to these. These are my favorites. So uh, you'll notice that um, she does use the, sorry about that. She does use the, uh, the imagery in the coloring books. I know she's got an Alice coloring book as well, which I am so tempted by, but I'm trying hard not to hoard everything. <laughs> um, but yeah, I just wanted to share these. I, I thought it would be fun to, um, let me bring it down a bit so you can, you can see these images. I hope you can still hear me. <laughs> so, uh, this is called Le Vampire. There are 44 Oracle cards and a guidebook. I did trim these cause I, I don't like borders. Borders bother me. <laughs> So fussy but um it's a nice a nice box um that's a lovely bluish sort of ultramarine inside you have a guidebook which is quite extensive i have to say uh, she does um provide quite a bit of course as with everything um use your intuition that's that's the best thing i can i can say allow the art to sort of um, you know, bring up what you need. There are some layouts here. So those are fun. I think there are three layouts in this one. Yes, there are. So that's kind of fun to do. Um, and let's get into the cards. So, so just be a quick flip through. I showed you the backings. It's like a sepia toned backing. So let's do this. And they are lovely, and it is nice to see her images in full color if you're you're used to working with her coloring books. Should be flipping these this way. <laughs> oh goodness. Okay. But again, they're beautiful. Her artwork is beautiful. Uh it's it's so moody and and so ethereal. It's it's perfect for, for this type of, of deck, this theme of deck. So I, I do enjoy this. I've had this for some years now. I don't remember exactly when it came out. It's been some time though. And she does have uh, an extensive collection of, of decks that she has put out. So I thought it would be fun to show these as well. I know a lot of people do enjoy her artwork. And even if you're not into card reading or you're not into oracle reading, it's kind of fun to have this as sort of a, you know, another way to collect her art as opposed to um, having the coloring books, but having these in, in full color because it is almost like having a little collection um, of her work. Her work is lovely, as you can see. So I thought it would be fun to share these. got the keywords here, the number and the title. So again, you don't really need a guidebook. You can just use this to sort of think, you know, um, bring on what comes to your mind first. Um, just use your intuition, really. That's the best way to do this. It's wonderful to go to the guidebook to get more to, uh, if you're going to be journaling, for instance, um, if you want just a bit more information, it's wonderful to have, um, that more of that I should also mention I totally forgot and that wasn't very nice <laughs> it the guidebook um is by Lucy Cavendish who has done uh many um many decks as well but so the artist is Jasmine Beckett Griffith the author of the guidebook is Lucy Cavendish so just as um I wanted to, to say that and to put that out there and give credit where it's due um 
But, you know, those who do use Oracle and Tarot and whatnot would know. I mean, Jazz and Becca Griffith and Lucy Cavendish are quite prolific and well-known uh, and have been around for some years. So it's it's not a secret. <laughs> just say that but it's always fun where I'm able to kind of cross over both um you know with coloring and 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 art and whatnot and uh tarot or card work or oracle work as well so that's that that's Le Vampire let me set that aside and show you the next one this is Myths and Mermaids and although this is a mermaid deck um, also, I should note that this one is not Jasmine Becker Griffith. This is Amber Logan and Kachina Micheletto. I hope I pronounced that correctly. But um, Jasmine Becker Griffith is obviously the artist, as you can see. Again, another deck I trimmed um, because I did. Well, you know what? And the cards were also huge and my hands aren't. So it's a bit easier to handle. Yes, I did do the little inking on the side. But... You get a, another guidebook and this beautiful blue color. Um, not as much information in this one, granted, but still, um, you can certainly use it as a starting point to get your intuition going if you feel stuck just looking at the card image, which happens. So um, there's your card backing, your lovely little mermaid. Now, this one I find to be... Not, not a summer deck. I find this to be very wintry, even though they're mermaids, but maybe because it's so, um, what is the word I'm looking for? It's a bit moody. It does, it does have a cold, colder feel to it. Not in a bad way, but just, that's just the feeling I get from it. Um, but here we go. So yeah, this is a deck I would probably not necessarily use in, in the summertime or when it's warmer. Um, Speaking of mermaid decks, I do have one uh, that I do want to show you that has been, um, that the artwork was done by uh, Selena Fennec, because I do have one of her coloring books now, so I wanted to kind of do the same thing to, to show her, um, her work and how that sort of kind of crossed over. This is sweet. Another, you know, I mean, again, it's the, it's the same type of feeling to it. It's it's very, it's beautiful. It's beautiful. I do I do enjoy it. Her artwork is just it's beautiful, and it's perfect for something like this because there's there is a lot, you know. She does so much with color and and shadow, and there is a lot going on where you can really pick up the message. I'm sure a lot of this artwork and this specific deck you would find, and I think it was her first uh, coloring book. I don't remember what it's called, but I know that there were um, fairies and other and other beings in that in that uh, coloring book. I could be wrong. I'm not sure because I don't have that, so <laughs> I'm not 100. percent But just to to sort of you know talk about um, you know where you would find these images, for instance. So because you saw with Le Vampire, there were some images that were certainly in the Halloween coloring book. But so. I think this one also had 44, yes, 44 cards as well, which is a good number to have. So a lot of these are up close, um, kind of portrait, which she's she does so well. But very, very beautiful. Some you will obviously pick up right away as far as the myths are concerned or famous works of art, but it's a beautiful one. They're all beautiful, really. <laughs> Let's be real. <laughs> They're all lovely. Just very moody, very ethereal. Just beautiful. And again, it's it's lovely to have just for her art, to be honest. I mean, look how beautiful that is. I mean, just to be able to have um, a bit of her artwork. Venus. Beautiful, beautiful. I love this one. This one came up for me a lot. 
when I was using this deck. Granted, I have not used it in a while, but now that I'm looking at it, I think I'm going to dive back into it. No pun intended. <laughs> so that is your Myths and Mermaids, Oracle of the Water by Jasmine Beckett Griffith, artwork by Jasmine Beckett Griffith, I should say. And finally, we have Alice in Wonderland. Now, granted, I do not have the Alice book, but I'm going to assume that a lot of these images you will find in her Alice coloring book. There are card backs. This has not been trimmed, as you can see the difference. Just to kind of show you, um, I took one card from this one, just to kind of give you an idea of how big these cards are. Um, so yes, that's your original size. And this is a Lucy Cavendish authored guidebook. There we go, a little Ode to Van Gogh. And you do have a bit more here, um, similar to the Le Vampire. Again, you've got the number, the title, and uh, some keywords to kind of get you going. So there's the back. This is a really beautiful one too, um, which I just, I found to be absolutely lovely, beautiful to work with. So there's this, let's go through this deck. It's going to be a longer video than usual today. <laughs> I try and keep my videos uh, not too long because I know people are busy. I know there's a lot to watch out there and you know, although that said, I said when I get to a hundred, I will probably, no, I won't probably, I promised I would, I will film a color in chat. So sorry about that glare. So that's going to be a bit longer, but for the most part, I try and keep my, my videos to a reasonable length. So you're not <laughs> there all day listening to me. <laughs> what? Again, beautiful, beautiful images. <clears throat> this is, uh, I think this is more of a recent deck although I know she's got I, she's got another one after this I think it was a fairy tale one and I don't know actually I have not looked to see what else she's brought out so I'll have to check that out uh just to look because I do really I do really enjoy her decks they're beautiful and I I do really enjoy when when um Lucy Cavendish does the guidebook so it seems to just resonate very deeply with me when um, those two work together and collaborate. So beautiful. Okay. Oh. I'm just, I'm just picking up on the obvious, um, nod to famous works of art, <laughs> which you will find, um, throughout, which I really do love that. Um, I appreciate that. So, here we go. Again, another beautiful deck. The cards are pretty glossy, so they do have that shine. Um, but lovely, the images are just beautiful. Color is just vibrant and I will eventually get her coloring book, the Alice coloring book, just because this deck is absolutely gorgeous and um, it would be nice to have that. But again, an, a beautiful, beautiful collection of her artwork in this deck and another very well done one. So yes, that is that. Um, so those are the three decks uh, that I have. And thank you so much for being here. If you made it through this entire video, <laughs> I appreciate that and I appreciate you. Um, I hope you're all doing well and I'll see you in the next one. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.